Hi there. The year is finished and it's gone by so fast. We've done a lot of good things this year. And I wanted to give you a few of the vital highlights of what we've done this year. To start, information and referral related to media. For example, our weekly e-news, um, newspaper articles, TV, and social media. All of that was hugely impactful. We reached over 14 million people. Wow, that's wonderful. Next, we partnered with the University of Arizona and we focused on interpreter licensure. You know, since licensure law passed in 2007, we wanted to know how is licensure running? Is the community satisfied? Are interpreters satisfied? Are the service providers satisfied? So we gathered that feedback and we need to analyze the results and we'll release the, that report in February or March of 2020. So keep a lookout for that report. We'll upload it on our website. In regards to our community engagement, this past spring, we did a tour to three cities and we held community forums. The first city was Prescott, the second was Kingman, and the third was Yuma. All three cities had vital discussions and feedback about their concerns and how to improve things in their different communities. And based on that feedback, we're going to do something special that will focus on that. And I'll talk about that in a moment. We're also thrilled to partner with AZ Post. AZ Post is the Arizona Police Officers Training Division. They focus on developing modules or training statewide for the police officers. So we're really excited for that partnership. We hired a few new people here in our office. We have a new hard of hearing specialist. Her name is Christy Abrams. Next, we have a director of public policy and community relations. Her name is Betty McIntyre. And third, Larissa Herrera. And she works with the finance department. So those three joined our team recently. So what's the next step for 2020? What's going to be happening? I have a few things to share. First, a legislative update, our sunset review, which means that our agency will be reviewed to make sure that we're running appropriately, if we're going to be able to continue on for the next eight years or so, and it's standard for all state agencies, so we'll be involved in that in 2020. And back to the town hall meeting, so those community forums for the three cities. So Yuma, what we've decided to do for 2020 is we're going to focus on making better use of our time and efforts in Yuma and partnering with those community members to make sure that they do uh, improve the quality of life and access and provide training for the police there, hospitals, and the medical profession, so, and employment there so that things can improve in that city. Next, statewide, we're going to focus on launching a employment campaign and it will focus on educating people about how to hire deaf and hard of hearing individuals and deaf blind individuals. The theme is let's get to work. Look for more information about that. We're really excited about that initiative. Last but not least, we're going to look at two areas. First is the expansion of our hearing healthcare program, specifically with hearing aids. You know, people often don't have benefits or insurance, so what do they do for hearing aids? So we're going to focus on possibly offering a hearing aid program that would include vouchers that would look similar to our equipment distribution telephone program. And secondly, we're looking at possibly identifying ambassadors for the city of Prescott and for the city of Tucson. And those individuals, we will provide them training so that they can help our agency in their particular cities 
to take a look at how can we can improve in providing resources, awareness, and training in those specific areas that we can't go to all the time. So let me know how we're doing, how we can better serve you. Happy holidays and see you next year.